<laughs> waterfowling is certainly not for the faint of heart. It can be brutal. I mean, it's it's muddy, it's wet, it's cold, but you know, at the same time, it can provide some of the greatest beauty nature has to offer. It's it's quite literally the art of waterfowl. It's it's a lifestyle that I think many who share in our passion can relate to, but others cannot. My name is Adam Grimm, and I'm a professional wildlife artist. Through the years, I've been blessed to receive many different awards. Um, but definitely the most prestigious of these has been winning the Federal Duck Stamp Contest twice. One could definitely say my life's passion is waterfowl. My love for nature really grew from spending days in the field with my father. Um, you know, he started taking me hunting and trapping with him, uh, well, pretty much as soon as I was big enough to keep up. And uh, I always loved to draw, but those days spent with him in nature changed me. It's what first created my passion for wildlife, and it just seemed that every outing inspired more and more art. I remember when I wanted to try drawing waterfowl, um, my dad said, well, let, let's try going to, you know, duck or goose hunting. And I still remember watching my first flock of Canada geese cup up their wings and come dropping into our decoy spread. And it was something I just could not get out of my head. I, I knew immediately it was a feeling I would never tire of. My passion for hunting and art have merged and become one. Um, Waterfowling as a whole has really become a lifestyle for me. But I think being both a hunter and an artist makes me better at both. And I can take the knowledge I learned from one and apply it to the other. Merging my passion and my art career, I think gives me a unique perspective on waterfowl and uh, their environment. And I, you know, it's something I live and breathe every day of the year. The level of understanding I gain from everything, I think makes Adam Grimm the hunter and Adam Grimm the painter kind of one of the same. Well, I think that just like planning a successful hunt, um, planning a successful painting requires a lot of preparation. And if you fail to adequately prepare for either, you know, it can be detrimental to the outcome. So in much the same way that you shouldn't go duck hunting without first scouting for birds, checking wind direction, water depth, you know, etc. cetera. Uh, you shouldn't do a duck painting without first knowing the anatomy of the birds, um, correct habitat or you know making sure you have a good design. I think when most people look at waterfowl um, they generally just see them as ducks or geese. You know I think somehow I see them differently. When I watch the birds I, I swear I can see their individuality. You know I can readily pick out the little subtle variations in their plumage and um, their attitude, uh, even their behavior. These things stay with me in the studio, and it's something I'm consciously aware of and striving to get across in my art. We all have a different level of passion and drive. Um, I think mine is just very focused. You know, for me, it's about capturing a special moment to share with others. Um, in the field, it could be a memory uh, made with my dad or my kids, friends, a dog, girl. Um, heck, even just myself. <laughs> uh, it, in the studio, it's a bird locked in time by paint with glowing wings in the sun, iridescence radiating, or you know the way the water droplets beat across the vermiculation on the feathers. Um, the intense beauty of these birds, we as waterfowlers love. Uh, painted to the best of my ability. Um, you know, in the end, it's it's my attempt at honoring the majesty of God's creations. Uh, the art of waterfowling has always been about more than just shooting birds, um, filling bag limits. It, you know, at the end of the day, it's the beauty of it all. It's, uh, it's the whole experience that makes me do what I do. It's those experiences that I spent, you know, out in nature and the memories created with the people I care about. That was awesome. That was a good shot. You know, what I do or what I'm about um, <laughs> is so much more than hunting decoys, calls, uh, you know, even brush strokes on a canvas. I mean, it, it it is the art of waterfowl. It encompasses, I think, everything I am, and it has become my way of life. You know, I, I, I pray that even after I'm gone, the art I created based on the experiences I've had in my life will continue to touch people's hearts and minds and will inspire them to make their own outdoor moments. I'm Adam Grimm and this is the art of waterfowling.